Why are bats associated with vampires? So first things first, which came first, the bat or the vampire? Jokes, obviously the bat, especially as vampires don't actually exist, right? Bats have been part of our ecosystem for literally 50 million years. Conversely, the concept of vampires has only been part of the equation science since in Greece, although the modern day interpretation has only been around since the early 1500s. However, the beginnings of the vampire bat association are relatively simple. When the Americas were discovered by Europeans in the late 15th and 16th centuries, explorers found the presence of the Desmodus Rotondus in Central and South America, the creature that would later become known as Vampire Bat. The reasoning for the name is simple. These particular bats feed on blood, as did the mythical vampire, which was popular in early modern European folklore at that time. Many European explorers came across the creatures and wrote accounts of their experience with said vampire bats, which usually involved a lot of blood. Although, as was the norm in writing those days, many of these accounts will without doubt be vastly exaggerated. It wasn't actually until 1810 that the name became officially and the term vampire bat was born. The majority of people are probably relatively surprised at the notion that Bram Stoker's Dracula wasn't involved in the naming of the vampire bat, most likely presuming that it played a significant role. However, Dracula wasn't actually published until 1897, so whilst it plays a huge part in why bats are associated with vampires, it is not the initial reason. The immense popularity of Dracula, both the original novel and entertainment based on it in later years has cemented the link between bats and vampires, most likely for many more years to come. Stoker's depiction of bats is vastly exaggerated, both in terms of size, power and obviously the fact that bats are able to turn into vampires, funnily enough. But the general knowledge of bats sucking blood and their nocturnal behavior is where the similarities end. Making up 20% of our mammal species, there are actually only 3 species of bat that partake in the consumption of blood, oh the irony. And there are over a thousand other species that just consume insects and fruit. Bats have been cornered by folklore and its myths, and are unfortunately truly misunderstood creature in the world today, thought to be creepy instead of cool. But they are cool, bats are badass, and so so important. First of all, they are vital to our ecology, having the important task of pollinating flowers and seed dispersal. They fill up our landscapes with the bounty or fruit and flowers, just as much as the celebrated bee. Bats are also the prime pollinator of the agave plant, which is where we've been distillating tequila from for hundreds of years. No bats, no tequila. A tragedy, if you will. They are also super important because of the sheer amount of insects they eat. Bats are a source of natural pest control because of their dietary choice, and they devour insects like nothing else. For example, Britain's most common bat, the pipistrelle, cute name, right? Eats up to 3000 insects in one single night. Greedy. Plus, those particular bats are teeny tiny in size, just 5 cm long maximum. So imagine how many insects a much larger bat could snuffle, around a thousand an hour apparently. Underneath the Congress Avenue Bridge in Austin, Texas, there are approximately 1.5 million bats that live there and every night they consume at least 30,000 pounds of insects. Another case for why bats are unappreciated and misunderstood is an odd one. But hear me out, bat droppings are precious. Bat droppings or guano are an extremely rich fertilizer due to its extremely high levels of nitrogen, phosphate and potassium and it's widely used all around the world in farming. At one point it was Texas largest mineral export until oil took over. So now I'm sure you can see that the beautiful bat really is a misunderstood creature. One which deserves much more praise and recognition for the important role they play in our ecology. But bats are sadly under threat across the world, with issues such as simple building work affecting their habitats, and farmers using pesticides, which are in turn affecting a bat's food source. Thanks for watching guys and please share and subscribe.